Why does this happen, happen to, to me? me? I, I made, made a mistake. mistake. Blah, 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 blah. I don't know. Drifting way. away. I don't know the words. 1990s. This song came out. We don't know the words. It's not a very good song. <laughs> Why are you just roasting someone? They could be dead for all you know. I have no clue who even wrote that song. I have no clue what band that is. Uh... Yeah, I got nothing. Yeah, there's there's I a have, bunch of those. I have those. no idea. There's a I'm, bunch of those. I can't think of who it is at all. Uh call me baby. Just go ahead now. That's the spin doctors. Do they do more than one song? Presumably. <laughs> Presumably. That's two princes by the the spin doctors. Okay. Like to tell me. That's the one where that there was that joke where it's like that's their entire soundtrack, that one song over and over again. Oh, that is my favorite. Um, uh, is that always sunny? No, it's no, sunny. no, 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 no. <laughs> that's way before. It's just usually an always sunny is, joke. Ah, uh, no, that's um, <sighs> that one comedian, and it's a girl, and she had her own show. <laughs> It's going to kill me. Uh, Sarah Silverman? Thank you. Thank you. The Sarah Silverman show. One that the, that one was a best... joke. And that is one. That is my favorite joke from the Sarah Silverman show. I mean, don't, don't rush me for it because I don't remember that clearly. But it feels like one of the better representations of a gay couple on TV ever. Yeah, no. They, they're just like two chill nerds. They were very and, sweet. And they're it, not like magic, clean cut, like models or anything. And they're also not like any like horrifying stereotypes of gay people. They're just like, they're just. It's just some gay dudes. <laughs> well, the whole the whole there. joke is that one of them was like, "Oh, I love gore and I love heavy metal," and he was all like, "The metal." Gaze. He was always like hard edge, right? And the, the other guy's like, "Okay, whatever. Like, you do your thing." And the whole joke is every day he went out to the park and he went on a jog. And he he's, he was like, "I listen to Anthrax. I listen yeah. to Anthrax when I go out to a jog." But all he's listening to is Two Princes on repeat, <laughs> and that is the joke. And whoever I forget the guy's name. But I saw him in real life at a WonderCon in Anaheim, and he was a nice guy. And I shook his hand. SoCal is where my mind states, but it's not my state of mind. <laughs> is isn't the heart in the blender song? Yeah, because I was gonna bring it up. That's one. my favorite one of that entire like era. That's the next I, one. I, I, I like that one. Eve Six. Oh, Inside Out. <laughs> that's a that's that's a band that does have a bunch of hits though. That's Ken and Crows. Is is that Ken and Crows? X, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's like from like the like like the accidentally in love era. I think where they're so, even more poppy than normal. That like okay. I, I could probably I, I could I. I they probably have like 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 six to ten hits that like sure, people would know. Fair enough, enough to fill a greatest the Rain hits album. King. <laughs> what? <laughs> Doesn't matter. It's stupid. Get caught stealing once when I was bork nine. bork 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 bork. That's the lyrics. Juanas <laughs> <laughs> addiction. Dude, we're off topic. They're all Those aren't even the so same much, genre. Dude. What? They were just making music just references riffing. no one gets. Yeah. I jokingly sang a song for a second, and Stephanie was like, start the episode that way. And I did, and now we have a four minute tangent. Let's go. It's a short walk to the diner as I berate <laughs> TJ the entire way. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. She, she just sort of pushed it on me. You can always say no. You can't always say no. I can't no. just say no. Yes, you can, TJ. Or at least that you had other plans. TJ stays quiet, and I push open the door to the diner. You did literally already have plans. You just talked about going to on, on a hike that day. TJ. TJ, you're a nightmare. You, had, you fucked this up so badly. I also have a hard time saying no to old ladies. Like, you can just wait them out. They won't be here long. <laughs> <laughs> Be like, I'll be back in 20 years. <laughs> One of us will. Uh, <laughs> you come back and they're actually alive. And you're like, you're like damn it. I was doing it's the yard work been now. 83 years. <laughs> I've been waiting this entire time. You came back. I made lemonade. 
I was kind of looking forward to hanging out again. PJ keeps quiet as we sit down, so I give up and just lean my head back again, eyes closed. You could have bailed him out, Chase. You could have been like, oh no, we actually had plans tomorrow with everybody, and you know, we gotta go. So if TJ can't say no, you basically have to be the person that like interjects an idea that he can't say no to. Yeah. Because there's this whole thing of like proximity of influence. You have to make him choose. So if if you are closer to him and his proximity of influence and you interject and you say, no, actually, we have a thing going on. He'd have a harder time saying no to you than you had. You got to hit him with a binary choice so that his Samuel can choose between. (laughs) (laughs) It's quiet for a few minutes before TJ finally speaks up. How are you feeling? I rub my eyes gently, a headache now replacing the dizziness that I felt earlier. Tired? My head hurts. I really shouldn't have done that. I- I'm so... Stop apologizing, please. It's fine. It wasn't the heat. TJ frowns and sits back, looking out the window at the sunset. Sorry, I'm not mad. I just don't want to see you beat yourself up over it, you know? I don't tell him that his constant fretting and apologizing is grating on my headache. Well, make sure you try to eat. You might just need energy. Here's hoping. At the moment, a young stag that I vaguely recognize comes up to our table. Ooh. It's weird seeing someone so young and fresh in Janice's position. Once he gets to our table, though, his eyes light up. Oh. Oh. I think this is to be you. <clears throat> I don't know what he looks like yet. It's it's so hard to determine in <laughs> the voice. It might be the, the route character. Tej. TJ sits up suddenly, a big grin spreading across his face. Julian! Julian? Oh, he's cute. Nerd. He's a nerd, but he's cute. <laughs> These two would know each other. Oh, they would. Look at your matching button-up polo type shirt now. Neither of them are uh, scary in, in any kind of way. <laughs> They're not intimidating They're at the all. worst allies in a horror game. Just Look, soggy paper bag people. They don't have very broad shoulders, so. <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen him. He's bigger, and so are his antlers. Not, I barely recognize him. His antlers are like little baby antlers. Yeah, there's not a lot going on there. And Chase, too. What in the world are you two doing here? Visiting. I didn't know you had a job here. That's cool. <laughs> Julian <laughs> grins. <laughs> not really, but it pays some of the bills. At that point, I phase out of the conversation, letting the two of them catch up. TJ has a lot of friends in high school. He had been technically popular. What does that mean? <laughs> that's a ah, weird, that's a weird no, I, asterisk you put there. I had a couple like, like, like technically, hypothetically, stereotypically nerdy friends who just like because of their friendliness had a lot of friends, so they are yeah. popular. They're just not like the type of popular you'd cast in a movie. You know yeah. what I mean? They're not like the typical popular type. Think about my my, valedic, my my valedictorian friend. Which is why popular is a stupid standard to hold anyone by. Like, whatever that means. The popular kids. Like, there's a bunch of like really sweet nerds that are very popular. Yeah. It's a good few minutes before the stag finally takes her orders. Once Julian bustles off to another table, TJ grins at me. Aw, oh, man, it, it, it's good to see him again. Yeah. That's cool. (laughs) With the stag gone, the awkward silence quickly closes in on us again. I'm too tired to do much about it, though. I lean my head back again, closing my eyes, feeling like I might fall asleep right there. So... I open them and see TJ looking at me before he quickly looks away again. What? Um... He fiddles with the stack of napkins. You called me Toby earlier. Did I? But I remember it even as I say it. Yeah. TJ forces a laugh. It's been years since you've called me that. Yeah. We're quiet for a moment. 
So, why did you call me that? I, I don't know. I guess I was just a little loopy after passing out. Ah. I eye him carefully. Do you mind if I call you that? Um, TJ is fine. <laughs> so, yes. I study TJ, the way he sort of hunched in on himself, his ears twitching. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Hmm. I go back and forth between deciding if I should bring up the whole Flynn incident or not. Despite his best efforts, TJ isn't fooling anyone that he's not bothered by what happened. Of course he would be. Do you... Do you want to talk about what happened on Mon... Uh, do you... Do you want to talk about what happened on Monday? That's the lake day, right? Is Monday the lake day? Um... <laughs> Probably. I feel like, given the context, I think that has to be what it is. Of all the things happening here, the thing one of the things I've done the worst at memorizing is the actual days that the week takes place on. Well, I mean... <laughs> but the weekend is when all the bad stuff happens, right? Like Generally. Like, yeah. It's like Friday, Saturday, So it must Sunday. be the week, because I think it is a week, so Monday probably is the lake. Hmm. TJ is quiet, and I kick myself. I'm given a little more time to think about of what I'm going to say next as Julian brings our food and strikes up another conversation. TJ, again, is able to easily slip into a smile and chat away with the stag. <laughs> I'm just wondering that if Julian works here, if Julian was the meat. Oh! In the other route. <laughs> that's a good question. <laughs> that's why we never met him here before. I mean, if I would chase, I wouldn't be offended by TJ's ability to, like, amicably talk to a person from college or whatever. Like, he's like, oh, look. I, he's I just, just friendly I just think, all the time yeah, with TJ everyone. Yeah, TJ is friendly. So it's... It's, it's, it's a good skill to... I wish I could be friendly it, with everyone. Easily I'm, slip into a smile and yeah. chat. Like, that is a helpful skill. That doesn't mean that he's, like... It's nothing to be jealous about. People yeah. are just good at that. I have to, wor I have to like, work my way up to a point with somebody where I can even talk with them comfortably. It's like, I don't... I Like, I'm so envious of people that can just, just make friendly all the time. No, I've been angry at a dinner table before, and the waitress comes up, and I'm like, "Yeah, hi. Like, I'll, <laughs> I'll have a Dr. Pepper, please." Like, I'm like, I'll like, I'll like switch faces, and then as soon as they walk away, I'm like, "Okay, yeah." Back to being angry again. <laughs> some people, are, some people are really good at that. Like, I think TJ is probably one of those people. The smell of the burger has my mouth watering. It's incredible when I take a bite. That was fast. It's striking how easy it is for TJ to just put on a smile and act cheerful. It makes me wonder how much of it is actually genuine. It's mirroring the whole thing about how they keep reinforcing that, uh, what's her name's smile doesn't reach her eyes. I mean, it's planned Janice, foiling. But... Yeah. Cause she, cause she has this, she has this like, f this insincere, like, happiness thing. And so it's, it's designed to foil T to foil TJ's personality. I just thought it was meant to signify that she was like being creepy because like somebody <laughs> having a smile that doesn't like affect the shape of their eyes is kind of like an unusual scary movie type thing. It's kind of a trope. Yeah, but but I don't think it means your character that someone's necessarily supposed to be creepy. It's just that that expression just means that the smile's not sincere. And that's like all of retail. <laughs> no, I mean when, when, and, when and I smile service. insincerely in retail, it does make my eyes like squint in the smiley kind of way. I just think like having the separation between eyes and smile is like kind of like an uncanny. Yeah, it, well, it's also not necessarily literal. It's potentially just an explanation that just like is shorthand for an insincere smile. I suppose. I don't know. Supposedly, I I think. I don't know, I can picture it. But we don't have clear answers about uh, TJ's smiles. Just that he slips into it easily, but he could just be sincere the whole time, because he's just such a puppy. All the time. He's such a good boy. I'm almost halfway done with my burger by the time Julian is angrily called back to the kitchen by the cook. TJ goes quiet again and starts plucking at his salad. I swallow and set down the, the burger, my stomach turning a bit at what I'm planning to say. I couldn't help it. I heard I swallowed it. I was like, and I liked it. <laughs> <laughs>
gold. You, you swallowed and you liked it. It's cemented in my brain forever now. <laughs> I'm sorry that. <laughs> Sorry, I did that to you. I'm sorry, I was a part of what did that to you. <laughs> oh no, you. you inspired our first ever animated ever. I'm, <laughs> I'm so sad about sorry, this. Sorry, not so, sorry. So broken up. I was thinking about this before we got here. About what? That maybe we could use the time we have here to remember what happened. To find... TJ finally looks at me and the sadness I see in his eyes makes my heart plummet. Find closure? TJ is quiet, staring at a salad. I don't know, man. I just know how bad it is for you still. And I just want to figure out how we can... I search for the right words. Be at peace with it. Is this the best, Chase? TJ is still quiet. I don't know, man. I finally say... I finally say and slump into my booth, feeling like I ruined the evening. How would we do that? His tone is shaky, but genuinely curious. I don't know. Talk about it? Talk about it with the others? Not Flynn, just the others. TJ looks out the window again. Maybe even go to the lake. Talk about it there. I don't know. I almost choke on the word lake, still worried about saying it in front of TJ. Maybe. Maybe. TJ sighs and finally looks at me with a small smile. Maybe, but right now I just want to hang out with you and have a good time, okay? Okay. So stop being so angry, it's, it's making me sad. I pick up my burger. My stomach loosening up enough that I feel like I can eat again. Sorry, I... I was just looking forward to... And stop apologizing. He says it with a smirk, then almost immediately frowns. I mean... Sorry, that was rude. I laugh at him, and he smiles back. <laughs> that fucking goofy <laughs> face. <laughs> I take another bite and look out the window. I feel a lot better now. And now I'm pretty sure I only passed out because I didn't have any food in me. By the way, did you ever see that tarantula again after the first time you saw it? TJ shudders. Ugh, no, thank goodness. I look out the window at the brilliant sunset. Ah, that's good. Not even the tarantula that we saw? I was, supposedly, I was confused about potentially, that. Potentially, yeah. I can't tell if the tarantula was real the second time, the pass out time, or if or Chase just had a time? general flip out. Well, the first one just doesn't matter. Like maybe he was joking, maybe he wasn't. I don't have any reason to I don't think, think he that was joking. Yeah, I don't have any reason to think that TJ was joking. But the time that Chase passed out from seeing a tarantula, I don't know if the tarantula was real because I don't know if he just like was primed to be freaked out by that, and there was just spiders everywhere anyway. But like. He had such a weird hallucinatory moment that he could have literally just had a just that he the he could have just imagined the tarantula to begin with. Yes, already, I, so I like, guess, like the Jenna rat where he pissed on himself. So I guess TJ saying that he didn't see it again might be like an indication that the uh tarantula, that it wasn't there that time. Exactly, yeah. yeah. He tries to walk away from me, but I kick him in his lower back, and he goes stumbling forward onto his knees. He stays there, not bothering to move at all. I glare at the back of his head, breathing hard. How does it feel when it's happening to you? My voice shakes as I yell at him. I'm not used to doing something like this. It felt so... gross. But at the same time, I felt like I'm finally teaching him a lesson. He's had this coming for so long. Oh. Is this Sydney? Mm -hmm. Why are you so mean to him? He doesn't answer, instead slowly getting up to his feet, wiping his face with the back of his hand. I told him to come out here to make one of his to make one of his treasure hunts, just so I could confront him like this. I'm not going it's not going how I thought it would, though. He's just standing there, not saying anything. 
Finally, he starts to walk away, shoulders slumped, ears and tail down. I feel another burst of anger following him. I quickly overtake his slow pace and shove him as hard as I can in the back. His head snaps back before he falls flat on his stomach on the ground. He stays there for a long, long time while I stare at him. I can't remember what happened after that. Damn. Sydney flashbacks are hitting hard all of a sudden after nothing for so long. Thursday. And this is like really the first time we've gotten like a like a Sydney flashback. Shock and surprise. Another member of this friend group that didn't seem to get along with the rest of the friend group. <laughs> Dude, they're, they're so These incompatible. Guys, this is, <laughs> if these are the people that they're supposedly friends with, like... What a hopeless existence just with everybody in general in this town. Like, holy shit, this is the best they had? They all go out and meet, like, actual friends, and they're like, what is this? What is this feeling? Is this what a friend yeah. is? Like, granted, every flashback is going to be the most heightened emotion moments. They're going to be ex extreme encounters of some kind. Yeah, but, but they, don't, they don't get along casually. <laughs> it doesn't feel like it. They, don't, they definitely don't get along now, at least. What a brutal group. There's a dull throbbing in my head when I wake up. A remnant of being, uh, a remnant of the raging headache I'd had yesterday. <clears throat> I take some Tylenol when TJ goes to the bathroom so he doesn't see. I don't want to worry him. While he's taking one of his insanely long showers, I go down to the lobby to get some breakfast. When I come back into the room, balancing two plates of full of bagels, bacon, and eggs, I'm surprised to see TJ already done. Oh. He's busy brushing his fur in the mirror, trying to tame the comical, fluffed-up look he has going on. I can't believe I forgot my shampoo. Look at how ridiculous I look. You look exactly the same, TJ. <laughs> you look perfectly good. He holds out his arms out to me and Jenna. Jenna grunts, not really paying attention, as she types away furiously on her laptop. I think it's kind of cute. TJ smiles. You mean funny. <laughs> no, you just look a little chubby. Oh. I smirk at TJ's mortified look as I set the plates down on the table, which forces Jenna to push her laptop aside for the moment. TJ opens a packet of, of jam and butter before spreading it neatly on a bagel cut in half. I watch as some of it sticks to the long fur around his mouth while he nibbles at it. He wipes it away with a napkin, only to start the process all over again. It's so sad that you're going to spend all your time doing homework, Jenna. The oh. thing that Chase should be doing. So in this route, Jenna is just like doing homework the whole time? She was doing it in her route, too. Yeah, but kind of, sort of. Like, is 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 the implication that is that she's like not going to be involved in this route because she's doing homework the whole time? Yeah, well, she was trying to do it. A lot of the time, whenever we were back at the motel, it's just that Carl's uh, very real disappearance got really distracting. <laughs> and so that kind of pushed... I think that made her get less work done, too. Yeah, but in the <clears> other... Unlike Chase, who never gets work done. Never, ever. He probably didn't even bring a laptop. It's probably, like, back at home. But I think I think Jenna working on her stuff has been a, a background noise throughout the stuff uh, and the other routes. And then she's one of the people that notices that the signal's out because she, she loses the internet on her on her laptop. Oh, yeah. That's a good point. <clears throat> I'm taking two midterms the Monday we get back, so it's fairly necessary, TJ. Jenna doesn't even look up from her laptop as she responds, focused solely on whatever it is she's typing. I'm pretty sure she just shoved half a bagel into her mouth before she went back to work. TJ sits there quietly for a moment, taking another bite. You think you'll have time to do anything today? Jenna doesn't answer for a few seconds. The only sound, the faint patter of the keyboard. Finally, she stops and looks up for the first time in probably an hour. I don't think so. I have a lot of work to do. Why don't you two go out and do something? We will. Uh, it would be nice if you, you could go with us, though. I snort. Yeah. 
come with us and do more work at Janice's house again. TJ lowers his ears. Again? TJ takes another bite from his bagel and it doesn't look like he's gonna say anything. I sigh. Yeah, she kind of cornered him and got him to say he'll do, he'd do more work. Jenna rolls her eyes and returns her attention back to the laptop. Jenna's taking advantage of people. Shocker. Jenna! TJ protests quietly. You know she used to give me some sort of sob story at the diner to get me to tip better? TJ frowns. Well, she does have a tough life, Jenna. So do we all. Despite being annoyed at having to go back to Janice's, I find myself siding with TJ. I think you do whatever you can here to make money. It's probably hard to own a house as, as just a waitress. Yeah, well maybe don't be a waitress in a, a crap town. She could at least try to find something else if it's that hard. TJ is still frowning, his ears down. I can tell he wants to say something more, but Jenna is an intimidating is an intimidating figure to try and argue with. I wouldn't argue with her. Look no. at her. Look at her. Look at her with her crossed arms and yeah. her mean face. The scariest thing in every free visual novel when the when the they cross their arms like a rant sona. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> it's quiet for another minute before Jenna sighs loudly. Sorry. I'm just a little stressed out right now. I have a lot of stuff to get done. It's all right. I wish we could help you out. Jenna laughs without any humor. <laughs> I wish she could too. TJ, TJ falls silent, staring at the small piece of bagel held between his fingers. My phone buzzes in my pocket and I take it out, surprised to see a text from Carl. Yo! I stare at it for a moment. Huh. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Who is it? TJ asks around his last bite of bagel, holding a napkin daintily in front of his mouth as he chews. Carl. Jenna's typing stops again. Really? How's he doing? I don't know. He seems okay. I realized then that I hadn't really had a chance to ask Jenna, or anyone, what had happened with Carl yesterday. Where was he? Leo said you guys found him. Yeah. Jenna pauses, staring at the screen of her laptop. What happened? I really don't know. Flynn found him in the crawl space, apparently. The crawl space? For some reason I get chills running up my arms. What in the world was he doing down there? Eating grilled cheese sandwiches. Yeah. Delicious grilled cheese sandwiches with no flavor. Crunchy grilled cheese sandwiches. Need a drink after that. <laughs> <laughs> Jenna shakes her head. When I went down there, he was just sitting on the ground, and Flynn told me to leave. I raise my brows, and TJ gives me a confused look. He was standing in front of him, so I couldn't see him. Like, if he was upset or something. What was he doing? Jenna shrugs. Flynn took him upstairs, and we left after that. Was he, like, drunk or something? <clears throat> TJ seems to try and word it delicately. Jenna shrugs again, then turns back to her writing. He's always high, isn't he? Great friend group. <laughs> I look back down at my phone. Wanna hang out? Is he that high right now? Yo, dude, y'all are fucking judgmental. It takes a second to figure it out. It's not that hard. Did not it doesn't take that long to figure out what the typo is. Well, you, you wanna hang Maybe hang his A key is broken. You're thinking about what well, there's one there or is maybe one he's, A, but maybe he's being hip and he's yeah. like skipping the vowels. Yeah. <laughs> I hang on it. <laughs> When I do, I look back up at TJ. Uh, what time does Janice want us over? Well, we'll go in the evening, when it's not so hot. TJ looks down and lowers his ears again. 
Because I don't want TJ to get all apologetic again, I keep talking. You want to go hang out with Carl? TJ smiles. Yeah! That could be a lot of fun! Alright then. Sure. TJ's also coming with me. Huge gaps in space. Yeah, the spacing is odd on this. For some reason, though, I can't shake the feeling that something is off. Stepping out into the parking lot, TJ immediately starts heading for the road while I pause by the car, holding my keys. Um... TJ turns around. Hmm? Are we... Are we walking? I look up at the road to, uh, toward the foothills of the mountains. Carl's house, an intimidating speck in the distance, barely visible through the heat haze. Oh, did you want to drive? <laughs> I shield my eyes against the sun, only just over the mountains, but still promising a hellscape by noon. I mean, did you want to walk? I can see TJ's demeanor deflate a little oh. as he starts walking back towards me in the car. We can drive! He smiles at me, but I sigh and shove my keys back into my pocket. Nah, we can go for a walk. It'll give us more time to talk, anyway. Oh, okay! He's trying to kill us. The, both of them are just constantly compromising to try to please the other one, but... But TJ in, is obvious in a way about it. Yeah, but also where both of them are just awkwardly, like, just unsatisfied all the time. It's like, I'll do it. No, I'll do it. No, I'll do it. No, I'll do it. TJ smiles and waits for me to catch up to him before we start up the road. While I'm not looking forward to trekking back to Janice's house in the heat, I'd rather TJ be in an upbeat mood. We're pretty quiet on the way up. It isn't until passing Janice's house that I finally break the silence. Man, why did you have to say yes? I groan, half teasingly, shoving my shoulder into his, sending him tumbling a little ways into the road. He was killed immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Is it so hard to say no? Well, yeah, it, it definitely is. I sigh. It would be fine if we weren't on vacation with friends we might never see again. TJ sulks a bit. Don't say that. It's, it's kind of true. I remember that the trip is already sort of ruined because of Flynn. Anyway, it, it's not that easy, Chase. Especially when she's all smiling and expectant like that. You rube. Yeah. You should stop letting people take advantage of you. TJ stares at the ground. Sorry. And stop apologizing. Intensely Canadian. Because he's from Canada. Oh, that's, that's it, can, this that's all canon, makes sense uh, now. TJ flattens his ears and I realize that my tone might have been a bit too harsh. Okay, now I'm sorry. I was mostly joking, but it's frustrating to see you get pushed around. I don't really get pushed around. I ignore him. And get taken advantage of. Mm. She doesn't take advantage of me. Why do you think she only asks you for these things? He opens his mouth, but I don't let him answer. Because she knows you'll say yes. That's basically the definition of taking advantage of someone. I nudge him again with my shoulder, but he manages not to, to fall into the road this time. You gotta be a little more assertive. Stand up for yourself more often. TJ shoves his hands in his pockets. So just say no to people? Not just when it comes to saying no. Stand up to people being mean to you, too. I don't mention Flynn, but I'm pretty sure he knows what I'm getting at. I try to give him an encouraging smile, but he doesn't look at me. It feels great, man. Once you do it once, you can't stop. TJ, TJ looks away, out into the desert. It sounds like you just want me to be mean to people. No, that's not the same thing at all. I shake my head. You can be nice and assertive at the same time. Boop, boop, it's a good boop. combination. Not insertive. Assertive. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> TJ is quiet for a few minutes as we start the painful, 
uphill portion of the trek towards Carl's mansion. I do it because I like to do it, you know. Oh, do you? Hmm? I'm starting to pant a little. My short, stubby legs already burning. I like to help her out. It feels good. Like, it makes you feel better about yourself. It makes me feel better about a lot of things. There's a sudden shift in his tone that cuts that cuts me off from saying anything else. It's a tone I'm not used to hearing from him, and I wonder if I went too far with the whole being assertive thing. Now he's going to be assertive to you, monkey paw curls. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there's a whole lot more going on under the surface, but now doesn't feel like the time to delve into it. I try to think of something else to talk about, to change the subject. Anyway, maybe the apologizing thing is just part of your heritage? Mm. Canada joke. TJ laughs, dispelling the tension easily. Maybe. Well, if you do go back, at least you'll fit in with all the nice people. It's just a stereotype, and not all that true. There were mean people in, Wa in Wasachua. Wasat Wasachua. Such. It's hard to it's hard to get that on the first TJ, try. you should know how to pronounce the place you came no. from. No. <laughs> You're like Wasachua, Wasachua. It's like, are you actually from there? <laughs> Not like here, though. TJ nods. No, Americans are mean. We yeah. all want to fight each other. Not like here. We're quiet for a few minutes. Carl's house, promisingly close now. I'm distracted, looking up at when suddenly TJ looking up at it when suddenly TJ shoulder checks me right off the road, tripping me over my own feet and into the sagebrush. Dude. What the hell? I shout as I lay in the dirt, the dust cloud clearing to reveal a mortified TJ still standing on the side of the road. Oh my gosh, I uh, I didn't mean to knock you over. I'm so He catches himself. Though the horrified look is still on his face. Is he a sadist? I mean, that is a moment to apologize. <laughs> That's a real apology moment, is knocking somebody clean on their ass. I don't know, maybe he did it on purpose. Well, he, like, they, he's, like, he's, like, returning the favor because, like, Chase did it multiple times. Yeah, well, but, yeah. He, but he caught him, like, right when he was paying no attention, so he was just completely... Poof. I stare up at him for a while, then burst out laughing. I see his tail and ears relax, his floofed out fur laying back down. That'd be such a weird visual. People like expanding. <laughs> <laughs> he smiles, seemingly relieved. You know, I really hate the whole idea that if you're like in this world where you like you, you have can, so you, many tails. Exactly. All like, the time. Ears and tails and fluffed up fur and hackles and like all this stuff like really gives off what you're feeling all the time. It'd be like my worst nightmare. Yeah. I hate that premise entirely. You're learning. He rubs his shoulders sheepishly. I guess so. Just all the many conversations we've had directly under that one green sign in the background. <laughs> no, it's like right on top of his head. Yeah, see his ears block it and unblock it periodically and it's really it's really noticeable. <laughs> And we keep we keep going back to that backdrop on these walks. I feel like you'd make it like a little bit off center, just so it wasn't so like very blatantly like yeah. in the center of the entire photo. <laughs> but you know, it's each of their own. Yep. Charlize their own. <laughs> Take it for granted. <laughs>